Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a really short one on two really good um, junior high books that I think that should be long in every junior high collection. The first one that I want to talk about is New Kid by Jerry Craft. And this is the story of Jordan Banks. And Jordan lives in Washington Heights in the city. His parents want him to, to do well and to go to a good school and he's excited because he thinks oh my gosh they're going to send me to the art school that I wanted to go to. He loves to draw. Instead he finds that he is going to be attending Riverdale Academy which is a an academy on the other side of the city not anywhere close to where he is and he's going to be attending as a scholarship student. He's not sure if he's going to fit in or not. The kids there go to school in SUVs and fancy cars. He has to take four buses in order to get there. The kids there wear pink shirts. He's not a pink shirt wearer. He likes to play basketball with his buddies or video games. He's not sure what the other kids like to do and don't even talk about where they live, the houses that they live in. Jordan is not feeling it at all and he comes home and day after day he's like this is not working for me. But through the help of his grandparents and his parents, he works through it and then he realizes, yeah, you know what? I do like this school. I have friends here. I love my art teacher. But now he's faced with a dilemma. Where do I belong truly? Do I belong in my old neighborhood or do I belong in this new, new environment that I find myself in? This is a great book of who you are and who you can be regardless of the circumstances where they put you. So I highly recommend that you pick up this graphic novel by Jerry Craft. The next one that I want to talk about is called Good Enough by Jen Petro Roy. And this is the story of Riley. Riley is 12 years old and although she does not get along that well with her sister because her sister can do no wrong, she's mom and dad's favorite according to Riley. She does have friends that she hangs out with. She is an aspiring artist. She loves to draw. She loves to run. Everything looks good until one day in the cafeteria, the mean girls say something to her that changes her life. Now, she slowly but surely is not eating in the cafeteria anymore. Her running becomes obsessive. And she, the reason she's doing it is so that she can feel prettier and more beautiful and try to fit in better. But where she ends up is in a treatment center with anorexia. And so this is her journey through her treatment center and her trying to get better. There are roadblocks on the way, including a roommate that is not quite a good roommate for her and keeps Riley from, from pushing forward with her treatment but overall, this is a great book about her journey to getting healthy again. And I really hope you pick this up and read it and enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed these book talks and we will see you soon. Bye.